using this Palo Santo to cleanse away any negative energies around us. For me as well. You know, it's been a long, stressful day for both of us. So setting the intention of just pure, positive, relaxing energy during the session for you, for me, and for everyone watching. And you're welcome to just relax and fall asleep. It's getting late. Start off by just brushing your hair very gently. Today's massage is going to be a combination of a scalp massage, face massage, neck and shoulder massage, as well as an abdomen massage to help to improve gastric motility and your digestion. We'll also have a tea for you at the end as a way to move into the rest of your evening. So I'm going to start just by applying some pressure to your scalp. Just different areas of the skull, just pressing. We're essentially activating different acupressure points. Right now I'm working on the governing vessel, which really helps to calm the spirit. Relax the mind.
such an honor to have you back today. It's been a while since we've done a video together. And I know with the current pandemic, it's been really hard to see each other. And I honestly feel very blessed to be able to spend so much quality time with you. some pressure here. Another wonderful point to calm the spirit. strain or tension in this area. And then finding Beton. Help to clear the nasal passages, help you breathe better. And then just moving along this lower ridge here, all the way over to Taiyang. be a great point for leaving pain, especially headaches. Jelka, I want you to take a deep breath in with me. Just applying some traction here. Yeah. Very good. This is Stress Release by Sage Natural Wellness. It's a really wonderful blend of lavender, orange, Roman chamomile, clary sage, myrtle, and vetiver. I'm just going to apply it on the side of your neck and down to the traps. Okay. And then on the other side. Okay. Apply a 
little bit along the front of the neck and this will also aid in our massage I'm going to take a little bit of avocado oil Need the traps. And turn the head to rest. Okay. Now we're going to work deeper into the trapezius muscles just on the back of the neck. Also work along the scaling muscles. As well as the strength mastoid just very gently because there are very important blood vessels and nerves in this area that we don't want to irritate Just finding a really tight spot right here, which we're going to work deeper. I'm just using a little bit of cross fiber friction, and I can already feel that it's releasing. Again, there's a 
really tight band of muscle here and I'm just going to release using friction again. I'm going to do a little bit of massage just here in the upper pectoralis, just loosening it up a little bit. Helping to open up the chest. So I'm just going to work on the upper back just slightly. You can fall right onto my hands. to be doing a scalp check. I don't believe I've ever done this on you before. using these knitting needles to check your scalp all over it. Starting at the anterior hairline. Essentially looking for any suspicious nevi, any patches of dry skin, red skin, any hair loss or perhaps even any lace or knits, but I highly doubt that. Most of all, allowing you to relax to the sensations and the sounds of these needles running along your scalp.
Lately there's been a lot of rain with the coming of spring. So enjoy the rain sound outside. I absolutely love the week of rain when spring comes because you just know that when the rain ends, there's going to be so much lush greenery and blossoms everywhere and we're already starting to witness that. Spring is all about beginnings, birth and rebirth. And I find that during spring we can learn so many precious lessons, so many wonderful training, spiritually, physically, mentally and emotionally. And as difficult as it can be sometimes, it's so important to offer gratitude for the lessons that we're able to learn. see any signs of hair loss or any patches of red skin. to crouch down here a little bit.
I've ever worked with anyone who had such long hair, to be honest. Maybe Tina? I don't think her hair is as long as yours. It's always such a treat. to move on to your abdomen massage. Okay. Just using some castor oil, which will really help to moving so I'm just doing an afflorage in a clockwise motion which is the same direction that the bowels will move I'm just following the direction of the large colon, large intestine slash colon. Doing a little bit of ringing. Essentially, we're just trying to help to move the contents of the colon, the small intestine.
Okay. Now we're gonna do some fingertip kneading right down here where we have the sigmoid colon. Moving up to the descending colon. Just going inch by inch towards the transverse colon right here. And then all the way down. Really hoping that this helps you, Angelica. Go. And just one more time. And then down the corner again. Very nice. And then just enough for all. Just using my thumbs and doing a little bit of kind of stretching along the diaphragm. Just ending off with some reflex stroking. Hopefully what we've done here is enough to just get the bowels moving a bit more. And if not, we can always do this massage again tomorrow. Angelica, this is the tea that you gave to me. It's called the Sacred Blend and it has white pine, sweet grass, and sage. So, full of sacred plants. I think this one specifically is inspired by the plants that grow in Canada's Algonquin Park. Everything is ethically handcrafted. So we're gonna just 
just put it in here in this little mortar and pestle. some light in here. Hopefully it's still Thank you. I really like the sweet grass taste. I never knew you could make tea out of it. I've only ever burnt sweet grass, and that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's very grounding. So it's time for you to sleep. Thank yes. you so much for being here and allowing me to do a massage on you. I really appreciate it. Anytime. And I've had such a good time. Oh. <laughs> so happy. Here. 